Hello my royalties, jumping on with a quick video for you. So I got this Day Spring Hope and Encouragement Bible and I just wanted to jump on and share it with you. I got the Bible um, and they had a promotion that if you ordered the Bible within a certain period of time, you got the Hope and Encouragement um, devotional journal. So first I'm going to jump into the Bible. And then I'm going to share the journal with you. So the Bible is by Dayspring. And um, it is the Hope and Encouragement Bible. It has the New Living Translation. It has 52 full-page devotionals um, from the best-selling Dayspring books. It has 250 plus reflective day spring inspirations, 12 indisputable truths, reading plans that explore God's heart for you, full color interior, including a 16 page visual overview of the Bible, um, a Tyndale verse finder, wide margins for journaling and note taking. It's durable. It's supposed to lay flat. It's Smithsonian binding. So I'm going to jump in and share with you guys. It has a lovely, sorry if the lighting is kind of off, but this is what we're working with, guys. You already know. I don't know the editing, can't do it, or whatnot. Those of you who have been with me for a long time, you already know that. So it has a almost like royal blue, if you can see that, um, imitation leather cover. This is the side of it gold and then it has the gold gilding and it does have some bookmarks in here that are cream color but I'll share that with you in just a moment so inside it has it looks like a navy or black inside cover and then it has a gold presentation page um, has a little verse over here which is Romans 15 and four. And then it jumps into their little description of the Bible. Um, here's the table of contents. And contribution and credits, alphabetical listing of Bible books. It has a nice normal Bible feel to it. Um, I feel like it's almost maybe even a little thicker possibly. This is a letter from James Barnett, who is one of the people who wrote it, and Roy Lesson. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. And then here you got notes to readers, 12 indisputable truths. And then here are the 12 indisputable truths out. And then we have the Old Testament, of course, Genesis. And this is kind of like a cream and green and gold color, just in case it's not showing up very well because of the lighting. Sorry, guys, again. Um, you are guided. And then we go into... We go into the book of Genesis. So here's the margins that they're talking about. You could write or take notes in or journal, whatever you want to do. Um, you are special. So it just, this is like a pretty mauve color. If you can see that. Um, these are little tidbits here. It's all about encouraging and hope. Um, you're not alone. You are equipped and able. Okay. You are held. So this is, at this time in the world, you know, we all need hope and encouragement. And I just think that it's something that's really can enlighten and help. How about that? And so it just basically, as always, goes through um the books of the bible that's numbers and you guys know i don't make my videos too long so 
you kind of can see the gist of the Bible. It's, you know, they all have their own little tidbits in them, but each one is different. And I'm not gonna like review every single page, but here. Sorry if I'm out of frame there. But here, I'm trying to see if there's, this is my first time looking at it too. Um, just so you're aware, you have a purpose, you are guided. So these are all little encouraging tidbits throughout the Bible. And then it just continues on with the same different things. People with Second Peter, they're all just pretty. If you want a Bible that's kind of, what do you call it, neutral, I guess you could say. This is kind of that for you, for the person of that. You guys know how I feel about Bibles. I love Bibles. I would have every single, probably, Bible there is, if I could afford to do so. And so, in the back, you have, of course, the verse finder. So you can see that. And that's index of indisputable truths. And then a visual overview of the Bible, introduction. And then you got colored maps. And this is on a much thicker paper colored for you guys. Hope you guys are seeing that really well. And I see I have some new members. I appreciate you guys, new subscribers. You, welcome to the Royal Family, to my loyal royalties. As always, thank you for being a part of the family. I appreciate you so much. I really honestly do. When we hit that 700 mark, there will be another giveaway. I kind of put that information on a separate video. So if you want to look um, in my previous videos, it talks about that and what you need to do. It's also over on my Instagram page. Um, and then that's the end of the Bible. And then, so they gave this hope and encouragement and it's teal. So you guys know, I love that, that color, um, devotional journal for a hundred days. And I, I don't know if any of you guys are like familiar with the day spring. They have a lot of hundred days, um, devotionals out there. And some people get them, take them to FedEx or Kinko's and get them, uh, spiraled, spiral bound, or even ring bound. Um, I'm going to leave this as is. Here is like a kind of a green, almost like a, I don't know, pea green, military green, something on that order. Here's Hope and Encouragement by Dayspring. Check them out at dayspring.com, guys. For all you guys out there who are looking for any kind of journaling, Bible journaling stuff, just any faith-based stuff, they have an array of things from stickers, Bible journaling things, markers, um, highlighters, um, what else do they have? They have kits, um, if you don't know, they're themed, and then they have stamps, like the rubber stamps. So here you go, um, you have a season, you have a reason for hope, I can't even see. Okay, and you are not alone, so it kind of gears with the... Bible and then day one true royalty and so it goes through every day with a devotion and place for you to write and get in there um there's there's a ton every single day has something for you for 100 days which is a long time and you know you don't have to get it and go exactly like straight through some people pick it up and go you know, like a 10 day challenge and do that and then pick it up again. There's just so much, but I think with the Bible and this, they'd be a great, um, let's see if I can put these together. Sorry. They'd be a great way to get in there and dig in the word right now. You know, like I said, with so much going on in the world, um, I don't know what normal is, but I don't think we'll ever get back to where we were. It's just so much happening and going on, but we all still need to you know, encourage one another, encourage ourselves, and oh, hang on to that hope. So, again, thank each and every one of you for sticking with me. I appreciate it so much. Um, I'm trying to do what I can to get you guys 
you know, content out there. It's just really difficult right now. I've already explained my circumstance um, in my previous videos. And, you know, we're almost four months out and I'm still there. But God has me where I'm at for a reason. I'm a firm believer of that, you know, it's his timing and everything will be okay. I do know that. So uh, for all you that have prayed for my family that had COVID, I want you to know I appreciate your prayers. They are all well and doing very well. Um, that COVID is just something else, but I appreciate you guys. I appreciate your prayers. I appreciate your support. I, I, great, I can't even say enough how much I appreciate you. So thank you again. And until next time, may God bless you always. Toodles.